Well hello there, I bet you didn't know that the PS5 light bar has up to 8 different sticks and each one actually tells you what the PS5 is doing. I bet you also didn't know that the DualSense light bar can produce the full rainbow spectrum of colours and each of these tells you something as well. In this video we'll go over every possible PS5 and DualSense colour and what they mean. These videos are all about you so you should subscribe not to miss out on that sweet PS5 knowledge. And let's get into it. First up, the rarest of all PS5 colours is the flashing red light of death. This light colour is so rare that there's actually no footage on the internet and I really didn't fancy heating up my PS5 just in case it breaks. If you do happen to suffer this feat, your PS5 is overheated and you'll need to contact Sony for a repair. Next up, a very obvious one. When the PS5 has no light the power is completely off and the next start up will be from cold launch. Next up, when you turn your PS5 on, the light will turn solid blue when it is booting up and this is a very quick process and it will transition into white when the boot up is complete. A solid white light means your PS5 is on and working normally. This is the colour state that you should see most by far. When you put the PS5 into rest mode the indicator light will blink orange, this means it is transitioning from on into rest mode. A solid orange or amber light means the PS5 is in rest mode in which you can charge devices, download content and boot up is also faster from this state. When you power your PS5 fully off the indicator will blink white and then turn completely off. Once the PS5 is off, it can be unplugged. A blinking white light or continuous solid blue light or blinking blue light means your PS5 is frozen and needs to be troubleshooted or rebooting, which will solve the issue that has occurred. Leave a comment down below if this has ever happened to you and what happened. Now you may have seen other indicator colours such as these, rainbows, green, purple. The PS5 cannot do this. These colours are the result of a light filter being placed over the indicator, which means you'll only ever see that colour. Now for the dual sense. I bet you didn't know that the DualSense actually has seven lights on it. Two side lights on the light bar. The PS5 supports up to a connection with four other controllers. So a fourth controller will have four white light. And the last light is the orange mute button. Now for the light colors and meaning. A blue light bar with one connector light means that your controller is connected to the PS5 and it's working. If you have more than one controller connected, the colors will cycle such that player one will be blue with one connector light. Player two will be red with two connector lights. Player three will be green with three connector lights. And player four will be purple with four connector lights. If if you're playing a game on the PlayStation 5 and you suddenly that the controller switches from player colour blue, if you're player 1, to orange, it means only one thing, you need to charge your controller. If you see your DualSense pulsating with an orange light, it means one of two things. One, your PlayStation 5 is preparing to enter sleep mode. When this happens, you'll notice that both the LED on the controller and the actual PS5 system will start pulsating in the same way until the procedure is complete. When sleep mode is actually entered, the light will stop pulsating and remain orange. Two, your DualSense controller is charging. Another reason you'll see the pulsating white light on the PS5 controller is when you connect it to power and it's actively charging. When the charging process is complete, the orange LED will stop pulsating and simply turn off, and that's when you know the charge is complete. If your controller is connected to anything other than the PS5, you will see a faint red color, and this is the default color scheme that your dual sensor has when it's connected to a Mac, iPad, iPhone, or Android device. Also, you can actually manipulate the color of the dual sense light bar by plugging it into a PC and using the program DS4. And from within the controls, you can set the color to be whatever you want. Drop a like if you gain value from this video as it helps others find it. Check out my 40 PS5 secrets video where I show you how to access the PS5 secret browser, or check out my PS5 tips and tricks playlist filled with videos just like this one and I will see you over there.